Okay, we, we, we talk about the hypothetical process part of the, the heat that incorporate in, in this card, we have at least five parts. That's right. When a species pass from one state to another, both data U and data S for the process are independent of the path. They can form the first state to the second state. Because delta U has delta S has it a specific property. That's right, it's specific property. But for this property is independent with the path. Okay, for this case, we, we can calculate what it is in terms of the change in pressure at constant temperature. That's right. Change in pressure at constant temperature. Or change in temperature at constant pressure. Yes, you can calculate the heat or energy based on change pressure, constant temperature, change temperature, constant pressure. That's right. And phase change, that's right. For this case, phase change. At constant temperature and pressure, like melting. Melting means solid from to liquid. Solidification, that's right, from liquid to solid. Vaporization, from liquid to vapor. Condensation, from vapor to liquid. Sublimation, from solid to vapor. This is the heat that incorporates for the pressure. And also, heat incorporates based on the mixing or dissolution of two liquid or dissolving of gas or solid in liquid. The liquid, two liquid mix together. You can calculate the heat of mixing. Or uh, gas dissolved in liquid, or liquid dissolved in gas, or solid dissolved in, in liquid, solid dissolved in gas. We have also calculated the heat of mixing or heat of dissolution. And the last term talk about the heat release or absorb or heat generate based on the chemical reaction. Uh, of this, we will consider in the energy balance that we talk in this class. So that we will talk in this class. Okay, I give you some some example. For this case, if we start from phenol at twenty five Celsius, phenol at twenty five Celsius one atm, and the phase is solid phase. And for this case, the phenol solid phase it convert or change to Phenol at vapor phase at 300 and 380. This is the two part. But for this part, we cannot calculate entropy or internal energy in this part. In this part, okay, for that case, we can uh, change the part because the delta S e or delta U, this is the state function. That's right. It did depend on the initial state and final state. There is no depend on the path. That's right. There is no other path. For this case, we can calculate in this part or in this part. The entropy is the same. The is the same. But for this case, we cannot calculate the direct path. That's right. From solid to vapor. We have no data. We have no technique to calculate. Okay, we, we can change the path. Okay, we, we can start from the solid at 25 Celsius, 1 atm. And then you change the temperature from 25 to 42.5, right. At this point, the solid will be transformed to liquid phase. That's right. At 42.5 Celsius, one atm. Phenol from solid will transform to liquid at this. That's right. This is the temperature change, constant pressure. This is the phase change from solid to liquid. As constant pressure and temperature. That's right. And then we increase the phenol liquid phase from 42.5 to 131.4. This is the change in temperature at constant pressure. And then we transform from liquid to vapor as constant temperature and pressure. That's right. We have uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. And then you increase the temperature of vapor from 181 to 301 atm. That's right, part five. And part six, for this case, we have to increase in pressure. This is constant temperature, change in pressure. Okay, for this case, we have six parts. That's right, we have six parts that we transform the phenol solid at 25 Celsius, 1 atm to vapor at 300 Celsius and 2 atm. For this case, the part that we can calculate the, the energy because from the true part, we cannot calculate the energy incorporated. 
for this case, okay, we can use another part. Right, change in temperature and then change phase from solid to liquid and then change in temperature again and then change phase from liquid to vapor and change temperature and finally we change pressure to get the initial state, we did the final state that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six steps. That's right, six steps. This is the technique to calculate the entropy because we cannot calculate the entropy of the two parts. Yeah, sometimes we have no data. We cannot determine from the solid to vapor directly, something like this. Okay, we, we can follow this part. And then the total entropy is the sum of all steps. That's my sum of all steps. Okay, for the entropy incorporated in, in the first step, we can the entropy based on temperature change. That's right. And the second step is the entropy based on phase change. The third step is the temperature change. The fourth step is the phase change. This is the temperature change. And the last step is the pressure change. That's right, the pressure change. And we talk to you how to calculate the entropy incorporated for it, for it uh, process. Right. Temperature change, phase change, temperature change, how to calculate entropy. Okay. Uh, for the general equation for the energy balance, that's right, for the energy balance, okay. The first step, Again, you have to perform the material balance. The material is balanced or not? Okay, if the material is balanced, okay, you write the appropriate form of the energy balance. It's closed system or open system. Like you may not be very close to delta S part, delta EK part, delta EP, something like this. Okay. And delete any of term that are either zero or negligible. For example, for like for the stationary system, then the core system. For that case, you can cancel data EK and data DP. No kinetic energy, no positive energy. If the system is stationary system. And we can neglect work if the system volume is constant. If the volume is constant, okay, we can cancel the work because there is no part, no moving part, like mixing, like sterile, right, okay. And also there is no energy transfer between the system and surrounding based on electrical radiation. Okay, for this case, we can actually work it zero. Okay, for the next, for the open system, that's like for the open system, like the steady state, if, he, if there is no appropriate vertical separation or there is no the difference in the distance, if he also can make it, that's right. And, uh, WS also can neglect if there is no moving path, such as pump or turbine, that's right. or no energy transfer by electricity or radiation. And for this, for open and code is the same. We can cancel the kinetic energy if then there is no moving path and no electricity, no radiation. Okay, we can cancel V. That's right, we can cancel V. Moreover, that if the temperature change, of more than a few degrees Celsius, a few degrees Kelvin, and fetching or chemical data EK may be necessary. For this case, that means that the change in temperature, the change in the fetching or chemical reaction is higher than the kinetic energy. Okay, for that case, we can cancel EK. Okay, they need a second step. The second step talk to you what is the assumption that we can cancel data EK, they can cancel data EP. We can handle that uh, the bill, something like this. Okay. And the third step, we have to shoot a reference state. The reference state. Why we have to shoot a reference state? Because I talked to you on Monday. That if you would like to calculate the enthalpy, we cannot calculate enthalpy at the pure state or at the uh, pure, pure, pure enthalpy. You only calculate the change in enthalpy. That's right. Mostly we can refer it to some state. That's right, reference to some state. If you consider like a steam, okay, you can open from the steam table directly. Because the steam table, we reference to the triple point already, for example. Right. If there is no, or uh, there is no water, okay, like acetone, like the benzene, sometimes we have acetone inlet, we have acetone outlet. You have no the data, you have no information. Okay, for this case, you can shoot inlet or outlet condition at the reference state. If you shoot the inlet, 
condition at the reference state, entropy of ringlet is, should be zero for that case. The reference state, entropy or internal energy is zero for that case. Okay. And the next step for the cross constant volume system, that's right. We have to contract the, the table with the column. In the column, okay, we have the initial step and final step or inlet and outlet. In the column, we specify the mass, that's right. The species is met, it may be mass hormone, mass folate or molar folate. And also we specify the entropy incorporated with the inlet and outlet or the initial and final for that case. Right? Some, sometimes you write the table. Is it the in, is it the out, M and S, M and S, M in, S in, M out, S out. For each three, that's right. If we have more stream one, stream two, stream three, M one, S one, M two, S two, something like this. Okay, and then you calculate. The next step, you calculate amount of the uh, energy in terms of entropy, in terms of internal energy, that's right, in terms of internal energy. You can calculate from the known condition based on temperature, based on pressure of the inlet or outlet of the initial or final state. The next step, you calculate delta U, delta S. For the cross system, we calculate based on delta U, that's right. We call the, the code system, there is no flow work. You have to calculate based on the time you If the open system, you have the work, that's right, the flow work, the math in, math out. That's right, math in, math out. The, the code, the open system, we call it data S, uh, data U, data S. We call data S equal to data U plus data P. You have to flow work for that step. Okay, after you calculate data S, data U, and then you check. If there is work, there is kinetic energy, there is potential energy, you have to calculate this of energy. And then you solve the equation. That's right, you solve the equation. Now you solve the equation. Based on these two systems, if the system is closed system, you use this equation. If the system is open system, we use this equation. You can see that the difference between closed system and open system. If the closed system, the internal energy, we use the internal energy instead of enthalpy. If the open system, we use the enthalpy because this is the same equation. But for this bit, there is no PV, no forward, that's right, no forward. But for open system, uh, delta S equal to delta U. Sorry. Delta U plus PV, that's right. This is the, time. the same equation, but the, the first one, this is no PV, but the second one is PV, but we incorporate delta U and PV in the market like this, right? And then you can solve the, the energy balance. Maybe we continue in five minutes. I would like to stop for a break for five minutes. 